Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the past week. Now I picked up this at our local value village and I was just in the area and I noticed people were lining up. So it was right, I think it was like 15 minutes before opening. And it's really true about the early bird gets the worm. Cause uh, you know, I usually randomly pop into thrift stores, but I guess all the fresh stuff was brought out early in the morning. So this is, I think you call it amylite, like a fossilized sea creature from like hundreds of millions of years ago. Don't quote me on it. I might be off 100 million years or so, but uh, pretty cool. It's in a, I guess you call it like a, some sort of gemological display type holder made of brass. So they're adjustable. So check this out. Really cool. And some people, you know, um, if they, if these happen to be like really funky colors, just like an opal, uh, they actually make them into pieces of jewelry. But this one's not too sparkly, not too colorful. But check out the price, three ninety nine. dollars Talking about four bucks plus a little for tax. I had to get it. And, um, yeah, um, I think some people passed over it initially because it sort of looks like those little miniature uh, collectibles made in China from the 80s or, you know, yeah, I guess around the 80s. Um, but when you look closely, this is an actual fossil for four bucks. And when I went to pay, the uh, cashier actually looked down and she had to like do a second glance, like, oh, four bucks, it's cheap. So I knew what it was, so that was a steal. And then this little thing, always check the Halloween section. You know, Halloween is coming up, so they're pulling out the Halloween stuff at the thrift stores. So I picked up this vintage, I guess it's sort of like called a blow mold um, plastic little decoration. It sort of like, looks like a Halloween treat basket or a little treat pail for your trick or treating. So it's a wit, uh, witch and it's probably made in China. Uh, 50 cent price on there from our local Salvation Army thrift store. And it has that like 1980s look, you know, when I was a kid. Uh, probably came with, I don't know, maybe some candies. I don't know. Um, but it looked really vintage. And I think I did see online uh, an identical one. And I would say it's probably worth at least between five and ten dollars. I could be wrong. But, uh, you know, I, I just had a hunch that it's, it's, you know, somewhat vintage and collectible. All right, cool. Uh, next, actually, I'll save this for last. This is like the best. Um, I did find this little teacup, very thin, thin-walled porcelain. Uh, you see this dragon, made in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Um, but when you hold it to the light, you could see like a, a face of a geisha girl right on the bottom of the teacup. Let me just bring it there. Like that, boom. Isn't that cool? Now I know I've heard of um, sake cups with like a little, uh, what do you call it? A um, marble, glass marble incorporated on the bottom of the sake cup, you know, like little wine cups. And in there, sometimes when you hold it to the light, there's like, uh, a lithograph or a picture of, well, let's say some naughty pictures. But this is somewhat tame. Just a head of a geisha girl right there. Very interesting. And this was $4. This is the type of thing, you know, because it doesn't have the, um, the what do you call it? Tea, tea, or what do you call it? The platter or not the platter, um, the plate underneath of it. Um, so this is the sort of thing I would typically take a picture of and put it as the, 
um, the almost items, you know, in one of those other videos. But uh, I had a 20% off donation coupon uh, and I had to have a total of, I think like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And so I wanted to buy, I'm, I'm not sure it was with this, but with some other items. Oh, actually it's with these items that I had to total uh, tally up to like 20 bucks or 25 bucks to use the coupon. So I thought, what the heck? But I did have fun explaining to the uh, cashiers this secret magic cup. They, uh, they were surprised. Um, so this, all right, these things, huh? Uh, originally they, they were like shrink wrapped. I think they were like six packs in a big bundle. And this is for the old Polaroid iZone instant camera that you can uh, use this miniature pictures. All right, this is before like digital cameras, all right? So you'd have these instant cameras, instant. Uh, you take a picture and you pull out the thing and you have to wait, um, I don't know how long, like two minutes or three minutes. And then the picture sort of appears and the back part you could peel off and you could use it like a sticker. So it was cool for the young folks back then. And you get 24 photos. Well, obviously this is just the uh, film, but you have to buy the camera. I had to have the camera and the camera would have looked like these two different models. And all right, this was made in Mexico, uh, May, all right, the expiry date is May, 2002. So we're talking about 18 years, is it 18? I got bad math, uh, 18 years past the expiry date. Okay, so with film, um, I don't know, chances are these are no good, but it was all in like two shrink wrapped sealed bundles. Uh, must have been old stock, really old stock. And uh, at first, Silly Coin Picker, uh, she has a similar camera. So I said, you know, go ahead. Uh, I think one or two of the packages were sort of like messed up because they were like in the corner or something, like corner of the package. So I said, open up one of the messed up ones and give it a try. Maybe it's compatible with your camera. And she tried it and I think it was, you know, like um, her, her camera is much more modern. And I think it didn't fit or somehow it, it just wasn't compatible. But um, these chances are, you know, unless they were stored in the fridge for or freezer for the last 20 years, uh, probably 70% chance that the chemicals that are in the film have dried up. Um, so I thought, what the heck? I've seen these listed on eBay and it was like for, this is two bundles. So we have here, let's see, uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12. So it was two bundles of six packages and they were selling for like $20, $30. I mean, some of them said like 36 photographs. Some of them said 12, but it's pretty much like a buck a photo. So I did try listing them uh, and uh, as, you know, like multiple units, like basically someone could buy one or they could buy up to like nine. I didn't post the um, messed up ones. So, you know, I was really specific saying that, you know, these are vintage, collectible, more for display. And you get like two packets of these film and you get like a little keychain bonus little photo album so i say use at your own risk you know chances it might be already like no good obviously like 20 years no good um but it'll be it'll look great for display if you have the camera you know it's just vintage pre-technology you know pre uh, iphone um digital camera technology but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and if I can make like, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks each, then I just sell one and then I get more than my money's back for the two bundles. So that was pretty neat. Um, and the best thing I saved for last. All right, uh, this 
was in the display case um, at my, well, I would say local, but I'd say it was at a Salvation Army thrift store close by, close by meaning I had to drive. Um, so it was in the display case, showcase, looked around, I thought, hmm, this looks interesting. So $14.99, I see this box, and it was more like all bunched together and it had these random things in it. And um, the box looked really fancy. So first of all, all right, the lady pulls it out for me, the worker. And I see these two random spoons right away. It's like, that's garbage. This looks like a Rogers silver plated spoon. Nothing. But we got a whole set and fancy and engraved, right? Why would someone engrave a silver plated spoon? Like, it doesn't make sense. So, all right, she pulls it out for me. I flip it over. This is what I see. All right, I'm going to share with you guys. Burke's Sterling. Magic word, Sterling. So right away, I just go, sold. I'm gonna pay right now. So she brings it up to the cashiers, and uh, you know, that was the end of the story. Um, so we have a, I'd say it's a complete set. You got six. I call it demi task spoons, or maybe, I don't know, possibly like, you could call it teaspoons, I guess, but I call it demi tasse. They seem a little bit smaller and daintier. And this is the Louis the fifth. Is that Louis the fifteenth? Louis the fifteenth design or model. See all the scroll work, and there's like an L engraved, and I think there's like a W, and then there's one that's blank, and then there's another W, another L. So I don't know what those meant, but um, I don't know, I'll still take them. Um, so they're about, I think it's about like 24 grams of silver each. So roughly that's like a buck a gram right now in Canadian dollars. So we got one, two, three, red. All right, we got like six. So that's like uh, roughly a slightly under $150 worth of sterling silver. I will take that any day of the week. And it's a nice set too. So if it's like around 150 bucks of silver, I'd say as a set, all right, very conservatively, $200. Let's say $50 more because it's a usable set. And especially some of them have, well, basically all of them have some sort of engraved initial on there, but very nice. That will go into my stack. And there you have it. Uh, yeah, so this is earmarked after this video, after I clean it up, sanitize it. Uh, this goes to Silly Coin Picker because I did ask her if she wanted and she said yes, if I do all those things. So that will become part of her collection. Really neat. And it's very seldom that she likes the stuff from the thrift store. So I'm very happy that she... Uh, graciously accepts this cool, unique fossil. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.